In today's video, we'll be taking a look back at one of our worst Star Wars collectible shipping disasters. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today, I have a little bit of a different video to share with you guys. This is the story of my gentle giant Ray milestone statue and a little bit of a shipping disaster. So when it first arrived back in very early 2021, I grabbed the camera because of the state of the box and I wanted to record it in case I needed to prove anything for replacement or insurance purposes. Um, and it's been a little bit of a while now, so my anxiety has decreased and I can finally share with you guys the video of how this box arrived to me all those years ago. Today we have a little bit of a sad unboxing. I opened this one up very quickly um, when it arrived because I don't know if you can see on screen but this box is very very mangled and as you can see this corner is just absolutely crumpled and it's been very very wet. Um, and the surface of this box is completely wet. You can see the cardboard has completely disintegrated at the top here. I mean, it's not even, um, you can see the top flap of this box. The cardboard has just completely split because it's wet. So I thought I'd better run upstairs, grab the camera and check this to see if the statue inside has survived its apparent swim across the ocean from America. So I'm just gonna pull this one out of the box. I'm being very careful because the cardboard itself is not really um, sustaining itself. So I've put a towel down because this box, if you can see on camera, it's literally wet. There's water inside this plastic bag. I don't know what's happened to it. I've never had a parcel arrive in this condition. It is just absolutely swimming in water. I don't know, it's not raining. We're in the middle of summer here in New Zealand. So I don't know how this happened. I'm just gonna put that over there. Okay, so I don't even know how to open this box. If you can see, the cardboard has just split away from itself. So who knows how this happened and I am kind of holding my breath. Oh my gosh, can you see that? This box is just absolutely destroyed. This is the certificate. The certificate is wet. Um, the pen uh, for the uh, edition number seems to not be wet, but the top of it, you can definitely feel that this has gotten wet. Okay, so there is water on the, on the polystyrene on the inside of the box. And I don't know how well this is going to even pull out. I'm just going to... I feel like the box around it is going to just, just fall apart once I get the polystyrene out because that's basically what's holding the shape of it. Can you see? This box is literally falling apart with the weight of the wet cardboard. It is sodden all the way through. And as you can see, it's ripping just from the weight of the wet cardboard trying to sustain itself. It's completely disintegrated down the side. So I'm going to put that out of the way because it's just, oh, it's so sad to see collectibles that you've been waiting for so long arrive in such a poor state. I'm just going to put the thing over there. Okay, so I'm really hoping that the polystyrene itself and the uh, sellotape has kept um, the statue inside safe because the polystyrene does feel wet on the outside, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sure the people that buy Gentle Giant would be as sad as I am to see a, a parcel in this state. I know that once a collectible's on your shelf, it doesn't really matter what the cardboard box looks like unless you're somebody that may sell in the future. Um, and obviously not having the box does affect the value of a collectible. Um, makes them harder to, to ship, makes it harder to prove that it's an authentic piece. 
but I'm just very, very nervous about what, particularly since the outside cardboard was, um, was looked like it had been basically drop kicked downstairs into a swimming pool. I don't know what on earth has happened. So let's have a look, see, and hopefully everything on the inside is okay. Okay, so we've got the polystyrene, we'll pop that out of the way. And now we have the statue here. This staff looks intact. Doesn't, doesn't feel like it's broken. That's good. We've got the base here. The, this doesn't feel wet. I'm glad. So we can pull the plastic off. Doesn't look like it's broken. We can see the edition number on the bottom. 222 out of 1000. This is a smaller edition size for Gentle Giant. Um, I'm very happy to see that that is okay. Particularly with the water, I am worried about the sort of marker that's used to um, note the addition size and things like the paint job on Ray herself. So it looks like for this statue, she is in one piece, which is very different for Gentle Giant. Things like the Dreamer statue, she had, um, you know, sort of hands and, and a head that was separate. This looks like she is sculpted in one piece. Which is, it looks like she has a scratch on her nose, which is a little bit sad. We can see her paint job here. It's a minor scratch, but it's unfortunately on a little bit of a prominent place. So I'm just going to pop the polystyrene and plastic away and we'll get her standing on her base so we can get a better look at that. Okay, so the pegs are on just one foot. I'm not sure which way around the pegs go. There, it looks like that's how she goes together, all complete. So we can see she's sculpted in one piece and I am quite amazed considering the condition of the cardboard box that she arrived in that particularly the staff and the details around the head are not broken um, it's quite amazing the uh, the base is in good condition no um, scratches and things that I can note but I'm definitely gonna have to take a closer look at the paint on the face and see if the scratch on the nose is going to uh, bother me in the long term but thank you so much for watching this fairly nervous unboxing um seeing how uh wet i can feel the dampness in this cardboard it is this is going to take a bit of drying out it's um uh very sad to see a collectible arrive in this state so yeah she arrived in one piece but yeah, that's a bit of a, a sad thing to see. The box is just completely in a pile of soggy cardboard. I'm not even sure it's worth salvaging. We'll see. So thanks for watching this unboxing and uh, may the force be with you. Phew, that was a wild look back. I had a very stressful arrival. As you can see, the statue is safe and sound and she has been in my collection ever since. Now, I think it was perhaps just my anxiety and nerves at the time, but looking at the face of the Ray statue here, that scratch on the nose that I was worried about back then is really, really minimal. I can see it when I put her under really strong lighting and I look it up close as you can see from this photo but under natural lighting when she's on display I can't see it so 
Considering that all that she had gone through to arrive on my doorstep, I decided that I was going to keep her and I don't think it would have been a replaceable floor anyway. So uh, it was a little bit of a anxious unboxing, but as you can see, she is safe and sound. The box, not so much. We do still have it. It's kind of dried in a misshapen form where we left it in the garage because we weren't really sure what to do with it. But I'm kind of sentimental about it now. It was one of those things where we thought the worst and it did actually end up all okay. So thanks for watching a little bit of an unusual story time video today. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of disasters or near calls you have had with Star Wars collectibles arriving in the mail. I know there are some horror stories out there. So thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video and as always may the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.